Welcome to Denver Coliseum, Denver, Colorado. 2023 Men's and Women's USA Curling National Championships. Coming to you live with draw number three, in the women's draw. For our feature draw this afternoon. The winner of the Nationals will compete in the LGT World Women's Curling Championships in Sandviken, Sweden. This afternoon's draw, Tyler George being joined by good friend and tech associate Steve here, Cameron Rittenauer. Cam, thanks for joining up before you got to get out of town, and thanks for classing up the booth with this nice suit, too. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me, Tyler. Happy to be here. Take a look at the standings at this point in the tournament. Three-way tie at the top between Team Anderson, Team Peterson, and Team Strauss at 2-0. Team Barron, Team Rhyme at 1-1 in the middle of the pack. McMakin, Shield, and Work in 0-2 all looking for their first wins of this competition. A feature game this afternoon will be Team Rhyme with that 1-1 one one record. Going up against Team Shield, looking for their first win. Yeah, it's looking like it'll be a pretty good matchup. Team Shield looking for their first win here. Here you see the lineups. Team Rhyme at lead, Katie Rhyme. Second, Kate Flannery. Third, Libby Brundage. And skip, Kim Rhyme. Coached by Bill Rhyme and Joe Flannery. And for Team Shield, lead Amelia Hintz, second Tessa Thurlow, third Jordan Hine, skip Miranda Shield. Their coach is Amy Harnden. We got the games on the other sheets for this draw. Sheet A, Team Peterson will be taking on Team Workin. Sheet B, McMakin and Strauss. Sheet C, our feature game, Rhyme and Shield and Sheet D, Anderson versus Bear. First stone about to be thrown by Team Rhyme. As Team Shield wins the last shot draw and takes Hammer for the first end. Yeah, sorry, Tyler. I jumped in and got a little antsy there at the beginning there, but yeah, it's <laughs> no, looking you're like supposed a, to do yeah, that yeah. until you see those pictures <laughs> pop up. You know that you're running the show here. <laughs> yeah, it's looking like it'll be a pretty good matchup here with Team Rhyme at one and one, and Team Shield here looking to gain some traction this week uh, at zero and two. Um, both really competitive teams, and looking forward to a good game here. I have to admit, this is the first time I've seen Team Shield in action. Uh, our junior world representatives coming up a little later on this year. So I'm very uh, interested to see the, how this team plays and it, what we can expect, curl. not just for the rest curl. of the tournament, but for our U.S. Curl. representatives at the Worlds. Well, yeah, it's okay. been fun to watch them here this last year. Uh, they've really stepped up to a new level um, just in this one year, of, and uh, shot making is incredible. I talked a little with Coach Amy Harnden before this game started. And she said that uh, they've spent a lot of time on tour this season and getting used to the women's game as opposed to just the junior game. And they've been very competitive. They've improved a ton from putting themselves out there for those women's games, which is so important. And we all did that at some point in our curling career where we were trying to measure ourselves against teams that we saw as maybe above our level. And that's the only thing that can make you better, especially as a younger team, is, is measuring yourself against teams you see as uh, future competition and teams at a higher level. Yeah, tough second rock there for Team Rhyme. Uh, 
flash that Just rock in the house there. Let's Must have ran a little side, spree zone. Okay. Maybe a yep. little early jitters and a rock that far on the outside. Can. Straight all the way. Might be tough to to believe the broom going out that wide. Hey, are we a guard? Uh, but that will girl. give Team Shield an opportunity girl. to Got split the rings if they can. Got a curl. This rock may be That's corner fine. guard. 17 which five. is just fine. I'd actually rather see that from the juniors not playing for the junior deuce. Yeah. Just splitting the house. <laughs> so it's an experienced call by Shield going to the corner guard already. This time making no mistake with that hit. Rolling into the eight foot. I kind of like this. Keep it open. Just a 10. So it will be an open hit and stick for Jordan Hine. Yep, yep. Anyone watching, yep. if I mispronounce any Hard of these Joel names, Ford. please. Hard. Send a message in so we don't yep, make that mistake. Get the roll. Any roll you got. Any roll. That's fine. And a perfect and hit and stick. Man rolls a little ways away from the center line. Team Shield content to keep things relatively open. They do have the corner guard in place, so they get a roll out. They'll be able to use that. But a, a good comfortable start for them. Possibly an opportunity to score a two later on, but nothing in center. Everything open. Yeah, absolutely. Um, just play the for the blink, I guess, now. And if there's a hit and roll, then go under or try to get a hit and roll under that corner and move forward for the deuce. Kate Flannery with the open hit and stick. Both teams will trade hits, it appears, until there's a possible rollout from either team. Looks like they're just going to try to keep it open here for a while and hope one rolls out, like Tyler was saying. A good stick from, from Thurlow that time. So we have our positions correct now as well. <laughs> Libby Brundage also makes no mistake with this open hit. So teams getting used to the the ice and the conditions with these open hits. Yeah, it's good to early on look at some of these lines and how they're coming in too and try not get caught with too much down weight, I suppose. Got a curl. Yeah, important curl. early in the game to take the ice out of it a little bit curl. when you're playing these hits and you're Hard not curl. Really sure about Got a curl. how much curl you're going to get. Hard curl. Hard to stick. That's fine. Now this is Jordan Ryan with that okay. hit and rolls off the paint. Nine six. Immediately, Ryan will go up to peel this corner. shot we expect this to play out as a blank end or at least the opportunity for a blank I suppose if they make this just right Miranda will probably try a freeze on that back one potentially it will stick around and roll towards the center at least I don't mind around or we hit and roll I like top eight top eight yeah, top eight, a little top decision low. here for Sheil early in the game, but I like the come around draw. It's, a, it's not right on the center line. The middle is still mostly open, so come around draw could set up a possible two. Top eight, top 12. Lots of room, got a curl. Lots yeah, absolutely. Room, it's a good curl. chance to take got a look a at curl. the draw weight, get that figured out. Got a curl. 
somewhat really of an got open a curl. house here. Close curl. Right, second throw. Yep. Anything on the paint's a good spot here if it's buried. Back fine. Back fine. Try to finish it. this one, even if it goes behind yep. the hard curl. Hard T curl. line. Better if it's buried. 14-4. We'll go back to the back of the forefoot. Almost completely buried, so I'm thinking that they'd like to freeze already. Yeah, they make a good freeze here. It's they're gonna be putting themselves in a good position to force. Plenty of space for a refreeze, possibly for Team Shield. Does a good job of sweeping that rock back behind the T-line farther, so any freeze would be deep enough that you can also come down and follow with your own. If you're 90-95 for the split times, that's 3.9 seconds. Pretty consistent with what we've seen throughout the week so far. Rhymes first stone, this intern draw looks to have plenty of weight. Really needs to turn over and die. Doesn't look like it's gonna get there. Um, that will go right by and give possible Miranda. opportunity for a two or three now, Cam. Yeah, get another one under that guard and Potentially make him so put a run back, I suppose. Or and rock try to freeze again. Yeah, rock yeah, plays would be so important um, here. It doesn't this have one to you want buried. above the tee, like but not at least half. top if you can 12. Get buried, that's as fine, but I still want likely top they'd 12. be able to come around and freeze anyway. So right to the top of the forefoot, really put pressure on Team Rhyme. And the run back that you mentioned too, Cam, would be a long run. So I'm sure they're thinking they'd prefer to be able to either hit something in the house or freeze, but with a well-thrown draw to the top of the forefoot for Shield, can really put pressure on Ryan in this first end. Lots of room. So Miranda Shields first. Again, looking to throw to the top of the forefoot. This one coasting a little bit too. Yep. Definitely needs to curl a little bit. Curl. Now they're trying to sweep to get down to their own and not leave a double, and it probably will be a pocket double or a freeze, whichever Ryan prefers. It's looking like she's going to play the draw once again. Yeah, there's a little extra room here for air. You got a couple rocks there. Put it in the pocket. Hard to get rid of that one once she puts it in there. Yeah, a little more margin for air with this freeze attempt. Now you have Two rocks to freeze to, and you can also go right between the two. The only errors that you want to stay away from now are being heavy enough that you tap the back stones and unlock it so that you can clear it, or comes up so short that you don't outcount either stone. But Ryan just threw this shot. She has a good feel for the speed now and setting herself for this intern draw once again. Definitely a little tighter line than the last one. Sweepers seem to like it. Got a 13-8 on that one, so maybe a little tap here. Be just fine. And that rock's not going anywhere, so it will be a draw for one point for Shield. So a bit of a missed opportunity there with... No, there's no way it goes. That draw going deep on her first. Yeah, well placed rock there to to save the the deuce or even three if you miss that one. Huh? Good force Top here. Button. If we come down to it, that's fine. Just we needs just need to, to be follow the same there. line as as rhyme through on her last. A foot or two less. Did you get? Again, no port for that rock to be bumped through, so. 
Miranda Shields, last stone, drawing for one point. She really gets up on that toe, kind of that hybrid yeah. tuck delivery. <laughs> top four, top four. I always like to try to make comparisons to other players when you see their delivery, but I'm going to have to think about that one. A little modified tuck type style there. Yeah. Sweeper's going to try to get this. Four should be just fine. Right to the lid for that last shot. And Shield does make the draw for one. They lead 1-0 over Team Rhyme after one end of play. Back for the start of the second end at the 2023 USA Curling Women's National Championships. Line's start of the second end means we talk about Warm Room Line Hero. Is your yeah, curling three. club website yes. clunky three. and unworkable? Seven. Are you tired of your club relying on three. social three. media because Five. your website three. does not work for your members? Three. Finally, the, the curling management three. software your club has been waiting for is here. Check out Warm Room That's Hero three. at curling.club today. Three. I'm probably going to be hearing the Warm Room Hero ads in my sleep, too, by yeah. the end of the week. Yeah, Which is good, You've because said that it means enough. it's in everybody's head. And that's what that's we want. right. <laughs> that's what you earn with this sponsorship. Thank you again, Anthony Darko. Well, center guard for Team Shield over curls a little bit. Good distance from the house. And Team Rhyme now playing the draw to the open side. Trying to keep things relatively open. Playing to the corner. Yeah. So a good corner guard there for Team Ryan. Nice start to the end for both teams. Katie Ryan with nice draw weights. Amelia Hintz will have her second throw, looking to, I believe, go around the guard that they threw up. Yeah, nice shot, top four. Forces Kim to potentially make a play at it. Sweepers think this needs to turn over quite a bit. Definitely starting to curl now. The line should be very good. Yeah, only if you can, top well, four. I think you're good. Just top four. You're good. Good yep. throw, good That's throw. perfectly done. Really good. 14. Nice pair from Hintz to start the second end. The team's starting to settle in a little bit with draw weight. Yeah, absolutely. I'm a little overburied. Like a lot of rocks and play this end, Cam. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah, a little overburied, which is great. So, Team Rhyme can't make a hit and roll under their corner. So, they elected to play the freeze here. Katie Rhymes second shot, trying to follow that draw. Freeze on rock in the top of the forefoot. That one will over curl and wreck the guard. And maybe seeing what we saw earlier in the tournament, didn't see it so much this morning, but maybe more curl going towards sheet A. Like yeah, as we did see the first couple days, both of those rocks curled real hard to get to that line. That's lost size. Okay. 
So Miranda is electing to go underneath that center guard again, put a, a pair in there. Oh, I think this Got is it. a lot. Back throw. Back Got eight. We need something. Tessa Thurlow's first throw of that this that second though. end. Got a Lots of weight. It looks like it may nose this red Hard Miranda. guard. Hard Miranda. Ends up going to the back of the 12 foot and stays in place. So rocks will stay there. So nice hit and roll here for them to sit two and you did hear the conversation cam that they believe this will curl here so they're picking up on the fact that this line and this side probably curls a little bit more kate flannery throwing hack weight and that is turning over really early yeah getting a lot of movement on that rock on that path Still well swept and gets all the way by and <laughs> yes, that's okay. Well, you get one free swear. Yep. yep. And then the next goes to charity, a donation to charity in the jar. <laughs> Joining the ranks of Jason Smith and Rich Ruin, and I believe in the swear jar. Yeah, start. you can. I think it's gonna be close. Top four's fine. We've all been there. Don't worry. Well, not me, obviously. I would no, never. you would never do that. No, absolutely. Yeah. Now, Perlo second, looking to clean things up a little bit after first throw ended up a little there. wide, a little heavy. We need a tap. Tap. Okay, then close. Yep. Yep. I yep. believe hard. is a little heavy again. Hard. 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 Straight. Hard. Straight. Hard. 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 You got it. Go. 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 Trying to get a okay. chip, funny. which got a big piece of, and at the very least did line up a a loaded gun for a raise. Absolutely. With the right weight, you could just tap that back to top four and sit really well. So a bit of a break despite the throw being a little heavy again. So maybe a little jitters here with draw weights and overthrowing a couple, but very early in the game. Kate Flannery with the outturn draw. This one running as well. And I think you see definitely, Cam, a little difference from side to side again that this outturn going towards sheet D running a little straighter, a little faster, and that intern going the opposite direction, a little bit more curl and not quite as much speed. Yeah, so with that, uh, as a thrower, would you have to think about it might be six feet heavier or or something like that? Yeah, I, I don't know that it'd be that much, but it it would probably be a couple feet. I would play for it to be two feet Just of difference. Four, okay. Probably between going towards sheet A or going towards sheet okay. D. Gotta the curl, curl is the biggest thing too. I mean, when, obviously when you're expecting not a rock curling, to curl more, curl. it's just not going to, it's not going to curl. Uh, carry as far. And the same thing here again with the, the straighter side, this rock just coasting through. We'll hit the brakes in the back of the house and sit second count. <laughs> Very animated today. Yeah, I don't think we have to worry about the performance aspect of the game as far as Kim is concerned. <laughs> but we like that. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, even the in keeps the game time. Yeah. Keeps the game interesting for Thank sure. You, Kim, don't ever stop. <laughs> So Libby Brundage now with the same outturn draw, and I think the teams are going to start to try to cut this room down eventually as they see these run, this one running as well. So sweeper called a seven out of hand. For those of you that don't know, that is the T-line or the basically the center of the house. We heard 14-1 for hog to hog. So maybe not quite as fast as they're making it look. We've seen... As much as 14.5 for dead weight this week for hog-to-hog -hog times. I think I like trying to get to the inside. Can I get a 
11. Okay. Now let's see if they can get there with maybe hack weight here. Oh, a little up weight. It doesn't like the curl here. Yeah, it, it'll be out. it'll be a little straight. So I think they're playing to get it tight to the guard, an aggressive line. Yet another lefty oh, in this curl. field. Whoa. Got a curl. <laughs> Whoa, curl. Curl. This one needs Whoa. to straight. curl a little bit early. Straight. Now they're saying it's taking the turn. Whoa. Trying to avoid their own backing. That's fine. All right. Just punches Ten it through four. the hole. Maybe a little bit of an overthrow there. Does clear the rock, though. Yeah, it sounded like Miranda went to plan B there, uh, hoping to roll to the outside and try to shoot it through that hole rather than hit and roll under. And definitely attempting to avoid the backing on their own stone. If they would have clipped one of the reds, probably would have been okay with that. So Brundage with another attempt at the come around draw. Still plenty of room. Hoping to get this to turn over and maybe finish a little bit and bury a piece. At the very least, you take away the inside roll, Cam. Absolutely. 11-5. Looks like Miranda's going to have the same shot again here for her first rock. It stops on the top of the button and looks like it's If we're wide, just go for the double because we don't want to jam. Five. Okay. Still trying to roll in. If we're wide, though, we're going for a double, so we don't jam here. Yeah. They need to get to the inside of this stone to avoid jamming on their own stone in the back, and that's the conversation that we're hearing, that if it's not going to get to the inside, that they'd rather roll away to make sure that they don't jam on their own yellow. Could set up a big end if you do jam, so... 11! Yeah, that's what it is. the most important down. thing. They'd be setting up for 11. potentially three or four, depending 11. on. Got a curl. Got a curl. Calling 11, which would be close Whoa. to board. That rock now, now getting up, but Sorry. it's going to jam on the back as they feared. But one good thing, though, with the setup for Shield is there's not a whole lot of area for Team Rhyme to hit that stone and avoid their own backing as there's a wall of red stones in the back 12 foot. Yeah, great placement for the yellow to end up there. Difficult to get rid of that without uh, at least taking one of those red ones out or straight jamming. Yeah, the, the best spot to hit this through is right in the middle. You may clip your own stone in the back 12s, but should be able to lose that yellow stone too. So they could sit three if they catch this right. So if you were throwing this, would you just uh, throw peel to make sure it goes away, or? No, I think I'd want to control this a little bit still. Maybe either control or normal. Enough to roll away, but also to make sure if it clips that back rock that it does roll off. If it dead jams, I think red still might be sitting three. So even if it does dead stick on that middle stone, the two red stones that are biting the eight foot should still be closer, I believe. So out turn pass for Kim Rhyme. Rhyme very close here. Once it gets to the center line, that's when it takes that turn. Oh, oh. it's very well done. Great shot. Still got a biter. Well, that red like. even still bites. They're sitting four. Well, that's that's as good as you can do that. Very well played by by Rhyme. And now Team Shield needs to get to the inside of that stone. I'm not sure we can to try to bail out of this end. That's yeah, a little higher, a little more open than Miranda's first rock, so she's a, deciding whether she wants to play the draw here against four and 
before you come here. Or make that hit and roll. Looks like she's thinking just the draw. Yeah, there is a soft hit and roll or draw okay, around the intern side, and they does appear that they're playing the okay. the draw against the four or five yeah, point end. I'm gonna try and touch four. Yeah, I'm thinking this might be really need this to walk down to try to get it to the four foot. Even if you get the full eights, it'd be a good result. You force Rhyme to either play a short run on their own or a draw for two, either or. Four zero. -oh. This is a, a little bit of a guess on the weight too, Cam. Yeah, this is a, a fresh path. Nothing's been out here yet. Um, even during warm-ups, they don't usually throw that high or that wide, do they? No, no. This is not a line that they would have seen in pregame practice. So you're going to take a guess and hope that the speed is the same as it is in the center of the sheet. Back eight. At the least, you do have backing that you can play to. So making sure you're there on this shot is important. Yeah, absolutely. The pro pro miss here is heavy. Absolutely. The line's good. We can't. But will it catch a piece and sit? Okay. That's not a bad result. Still gets second count. So decision time for rhyme. And that rhyme too. I'm gonna really try yeah. to avoid that the rest of the Oh game. man. But there's a draw for two or the exact same shot, basically, that she just played for a minimum of four. Draw for two or a, a light tap or a light hit for potentially three or four. Excuse me, uh, I forgot that Shield had the hammer here, so. <laughs> no, Rhyme has hammer. Oh. Shield did take her one in the first oh, with that draw. Right. That's right. <laughs> Minor detail for the game. They are playing the draw. I, I would have liked to see them play like a hack weight bump. Yeah, for the, tap that back. That was four or five. And you'd only need to move that stone out of the eight foot to get four. And there's not a ton of risk. I mean, your absolute worst case scenario is down 2-0, but if you have a chance for a big end, might want to take that. But they're just going to play for the draw. And the draw isn't the easiest shot on this line either because they, they can't nose their own stone and get count. So it will be a draw for two for Rhyme. I think they might have to go a little for weight. Now curling, too. They can't go to nose of their own. Yeah, it looks like it's curling pretty hard here. And that's very close for second count. What do you think, Eagle Eye, yeah. you have? Well, I'm going to say red. I'm going to go yellow. All right, perfect. Let's do this. We've got opposite sides of the fence. Let's That's what we I'm, want. I'm hoping my insider uh, knowledge of the camera location um, maybe uh, helps me out in this uh, wager we got going on here. I'm I'm hoping that, or I was just hoping that they were actually going to do a measurement regardless so that none of us was off by that much. Right. That they didn't even measure at all. Nobody's so I think the wager is who... Oh. Go, who goes to get the, the Dr. Pepper Zero? I still have a half of Dr. Pepper Zero sugar sitting in front of me right now. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I think we, we might be out on the stash for the time being. And you heard the talk about that final shot, too, that I think it may have been Kate Flanner that said, they kind of like playing that shot for four because they had just played it. It was the exact same shot, which I yeah. agree with. Back to back, absolutely. You make it perfect, you're getting five. Oh. It is red. It is red. I'll take it. You got me. You got me. I don't know today. So two points for Team Rhyme after that last draw. Team Shield with a very nice draw to avoid a 
much bigger end than what we ended up with. So after two ends, score is Rhyme 2, Shield 1. for the beginning of end number three. The third draw for Women's USA Curling National Championships. After a two-point end for Team Rhyme, they lead 2-1 over Team Shield. Tyler George in the booth with Cam Rittenauer. And Cam, we're seeing a center guard once again to start the end by Team Rhyme. Not taking the foot off the pedal, which this early in the game and only a one-point lead we'd like to see. Absolutely, and uh, maybe this end I'll remember who's got the hammer. So Why yeah, we could talk about it right now to make yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. You see yeah. that little hammer symbol? Yeah, in the on the screen down there. there? It, that's it, that's it had me confused. I'll have to talk to the crew here. The, 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 they had two rocks up there, and I was looking at the screen. Thirteen three, got us it. Yeah, so it's the yellow team. We can also say if that helps too. Has hammer. Okay. Gotcha. Shield trying to throw a draw to the wing ends up going through and we've repeated this over and over throughout the week that on our national ice surface with Sean Olison's ice and formerly Dave Stavitek's ice, that center line track going to the outside. It's the fastest line on almost any curling sheet, but really even more so with our national's ice that it's a half second to even a full second sometimes with hog to hog times faster than what you'd see in the center of the sheet or in the the draw paths to the button, that center line. What do you think causes that? Any idea? No. <laughs> <laughs> do you think I, it's just the, the slide path over and over? Yeah. You know, I, it finishes? Yeah, I, I, don't, it, I think it's just that the rock runs straight clean. at the beginning. I think and then it's just kind of gradually okay. you know, just an eight. bent into the outside. But I, I always took pride in not knowing why the ice did what it did. But just reading it, I wanted to be blissfully ignorant. So anytime you ask me, you know, if it's curling a certain way or if the speed's a certain way, Straight why that is, why my answer is okay. going to be, I don't know. Straight and I'm going to stick with that one, which is good for <laughs> me. Yep. Back house. Ignorance is bliss. Exactly. Yep, yeah, house. it worked out just fine for Six. me. Yep, got to go. You need Can't your go. ice maintained or girl. improved or Hard anything girl. like that, don't talk to me. i got nothing for you. Go. <laughs> Again, trying okay, to throw a draw to the wing. This one ends up in the house, but I think Team Ryan will be happy with that, that they have a rock on the button, completely guarded, and that stone is open in the wing. So open hit for Kate Flannery. I imagine they're going to try to play that hit and roll to the middle here under the center guard. Yeah, roll would be good. Even nose would be just fine with the double being extremely thin. But a roll in underneath center would be great. All right, hits a little thin, bumps their own back, and rolls open. And you like here? I don't think I need to tell you which which turn we're playing. That we saw that one snap up more to what? Cam, going towards sheet A once yeah. again. And it's definitely a little more curl than we saw for the morning draw for the men's game, especially going in that direction. Good third, nine five. Yeah. Do you ever just draw down and freeze to that center rock here? Well, I, I definitely wouldn't play the slash. Uh, they can, really can't keep the shooter in the house by making this shot and Ryan will draw nine into the five. center again. This Close. is one where you'd like to keep your nine. rock in play. Yep. You know, play the hit, even if you don't yep. roll in, it's Four. fine. If you can roll in, then whoa. you're in a much better position whoa, than you were. Whoa, whoa. Just sticking. Yeah, absolutely. Just like you said there, if you do end up rolling Nine. out, which they didn't here. Yeah, um, that's a that's a better result. I mean, if they do make the double, 
then you're still going to have probably Rhyme going underneath the center guard. So I would much rather just hit and stick, and now Rhyme has to chase that stone instead. It may end up rolling to a spot where you get a better look at a double. It may roll out where you can play the draw afterwards. But you don't want to just turn over control of the end to your opponent by playing a shot where you can't stick around. This one really going hard on the opposite side now. Does make the hit, but rolls out. And now you have your opportunity to either chase that with a soft weight hit or draw to it. Double? I don't mind just the hit and roll here, too. Run. Still 9-5. Kind of a soft weight Kit. run. A 9-5. Trying to roll to the corner at the least. Thurlow second stone. Close. Whoa. It's a Whoa. little conservative play, but Got a curl. you can roll Got it to a, a corner. It's not too bad. You really want this to Get stick around, though. No, never mind. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> they do end up sticking around for a corner there, yep. Yeah. An extreme corner, but still something that could be used. So Ryan will try to replace that guard with a tight center. Libby Brundage's first stone of this end. Three for the viewers out there is a, a tight center guard or just a tight guard. Yeah, they'd like to split center with this if they can and guard that stone. Should be all the way down on that line. With this rock carrying to the top of the 12s. Pretty sure double opportunity now for Shield. Yeah, good opportunity for Miranda here to nine make five. a hit and roll. And Keep her rock in the house here and make the double at the same time. Jordan Hines. Close. Yep. First yep. of the third end. Close. Really like to stick around here regardless Girl. of if the double's Girl. made, but should be able to do both if they hit this in the right spot. That's fine. Trying to get up. And roll all the way off the wing. So we're going to try that shot again with the center guard. Yeah, Kim would like this one a couple feet shorter this time out of the rings. It doesn't leave a, a hit opportunity that could have the shooters stay in the house as well. I know you guys can't see Tyler here, but uh, he was the smart one. He's all bundled up with a scarf, just <laughs> looking dapper here. And I'm uh, well, yeah, that's I'm coming from a cold. guy in a suit <laughs> saying that I look dapper right now. That's this is the second time I've been up here that my commentary partner was fully decked out in a suit. Our the CEO, again. Dean Gemmel, did the opening draw with me, and that was following the opening ceremony. Okay, so. Let's put the you know, he'll probably say Double. that's why he had the suit on. I think he just wanted to look okay, nine, five. sitting next to me in the booth anyways. Some of us are just in our our comfies here. <laughs> Miranda looks like she's going to play the hit and roll. Whoa. This jacket is pretty nice, though. I like Got it. A curl. Yeah, it looks Got good. A curl. Thanks to curl. Pursuit, Columbus, Ohio, Nate DeMars. Hard to stick. I do love this jacket. Hard to stick. 9-5. Once again, shooter rolling off, playing that run. Cam doesn't look as though Sheil wants to mix things up very much with with Rhyme. They're just trying to keep things open and simple right now. Would you have ever played a soft weight hit on that one on the back four and roll to the open? Yeah. Or, or even potentially, well, I don't know if you could get under that guard, but uh, Mick make her basically play a hit back. Yeah, I'd, I would have probably chased that stone earlier in the end and tried to stick around. 
not in a lot of danger playing. And if you wreck the guard, you still probably spill into the rings anyways. So, Absolutely. That was only quarter buried, so there's a lot of room there. Yeah, they just really do not want those center guards in play. Going to play a a more conservative game and try to wait for their opportunities later on. But especially with Hammer too, Cam, you, you you don't really have a ton of risk. And you want to give yourself a chance to score multiple points and waiting for the mistake by the opponent as opposed to trying to create opportunities for yourself is is not something that works as well in you know a national championship competition or as you get into the women's game as opposed to the junior game too you will get mistakes but you want to force those mistakes too and and came, comes all the way in as well yeah a couple feet too heavy and that gives them the potential of making the double and sticking around in the house <laughs> Kim Rhyme saying she tried really Body hard to kick outside. out slow. Nose works. We appreciate the effort, at least, Kim. Thank you. But that rock will come to a stop on the top of the 12 foot. How much do I need to hit? Miranda Shield. Okay. Getting another crack at this double. Should get a little bit of curl on this line, this close to the center line. Ten. Got a lot of curl. Okay. Not playing a ton of weight with this either. This one will stick around. We'll see what they get for the double attempt. Hit it exactly where they needed to, but just didn't throw enough weight to make the double. Yeah, that's unfortunate for Miranda. She did stick around, but unfortunately, Kim's Rock is a little bit closer. Yeah, I think she got a little overly concerned with sticking around that time, not rolling off, and didn't throw a weight that would allow her to make the double. She hit that as good as she could possibly hit it. Yeah. And that rock still comes to a stop in the back of the 12. So, so Kim Rhyme looking to put a little more pressure on now and play this intern draw around the rock shield just through. Hoping to place it top four T line and force Miranda to make a draw against it. So intern draw attempt for Kim Rhyme. As you said, Cam, right to the top of the forefoot would be a great spot. Needs to curl a little bit and starting to turn over now. Now the line looks pretty good. Got a 14-2 here, so probably back four, back Still eight. Plenty of room now. And comes to a stop on the yeah. back of the four, so there is a possible shot for two. I think if we try for the double, we have to If you get close to it. Okay. Yeah, even if you just move it a little. Yeah, even if you just move what? that back one a little bit and you yes. get rid of the one they're hitting. It's just off nose. If we hit nose and stick for one, that's fine. Yeah, I think okay. this is just a board weight shot, Cam, because you Ten. don't need to overthrow this to make it. You want the shooter to stick around, and you really want to get a little bit of finish once you get by your own stone, too. So, yeah, well, okay. Like you said, once it goes uh, over that center line, it, it should take off a little bit for him. Yeah, this is definitely there, so there yep. is a shot for two. Miranda Shield, I heard 10 is the weight that they're playing. That's Probably control somewhere in there. So maybe a little more than you might play to try to make sure you stick. And this one's curling early. Sweet really needs to go to get by the guard. Oh, just hairs, but gets by enough to clear one of the red stones. <laughs> so avoids the two, but does give up a steal one. 
So the score will be Rhyme 3, Sheil 1 after three ends of play. City's Orthopedics is ready to go with more doctors, specialty services, and convenient urgent care locations. Ready, set, TCO. end of this draw three of women's tournament for 2023 USA Curling National Championships. Team Rhyme leads 3-1 over Team Shield. Rhyme now with the two-point lead, Cam, coming into the house. Trying to keep things a little more open. You see a corner guard from Team Shield. Yeah, that top four with the lead like this, especially in the evens, is basically a free shot to the the house because they're not going to chase it because they have to start generating some points. Mine's pretty good. Two. Two, three. Two. It's pretty good. Three. Two, three. Two. Close curl. Three. Let's see if we Two. get a little more yes, aggressiveness from Team yes. Shield now that they're down a couple oh. points. Close. Going to the corner guard is a good start for that. On the tongue. On the tongue. So what's the typical strategy here early in the game compared to the end? I know in the end, you'd probably draw in another one of the top four. Do you ever just guard this or are you go in again? Yeah, I think they'll go with a guard first, just at the start of the end. Looking at scores from other sheets, Team Peterson. A couple of twos early on and have a 4-1 lead over Rachel Workin. Sheet B, Christine McMakin up 4-2 on Delaney Strauss. A couple twos of her own. And sheet D, Team Anderson once again keeping the score low early. Now in a 1-0 game against Team Bear. We saw in their last game it was 0-0 after three ends for Team Anderson. Playing a pretty open game over there. Yeah, going at lightning speed, too. They're almost finished with the fourth end already. <laughs> Helps that time clock out or that game clock, that's for sure. Yeah, the ice guys like it too. The sooner they can get everybody off the ice with a four game day. Absolutely. Really crush for time getting the ice prepared. Amelia hits a second here in the fourth end. Calling back 12. It sits back 12, it's not a bad spot on this line. And it will. So again, not bad going under the corner guard to be that deep. Ah, Kim Ryan with the Christmas tree reference. We like that. So that means, for those that don't know, throwing a draw around the center guard that half buries, which will also half cover her own stone in the forefoot. So you can only see half of each of the stones and the edges of it going out in a line and make it look like the edge of a pine tree or a Christmas tree. We have a lot of strange terminology in the curling world. <laughs> Christmas tree, one of my favorites. That one completely buries pretty much, so not much of a tree. Tree with a shaved branch on the end. <laughs> Still a good spot for Still it, though. Still a very good spot, yes. I like a time, then. That's a good shot. Yeah, kudos to Sean and his team that? getting this ice turned around and these here. very short uh, breaks between the games. I don't think games. we need to roll that far. 
Yeah, this is our only four game day. So this will be the most difficult one, both for the, the players and for the ice crew. 8 a.m. start for the first game and 8 p.m. start for the final Ten. game. Whoa. It's a long day for everyone involved. Oh. I admit yep. that I've taken the night draw off tonight. Yep. Be on for the 4 p.m. game. That's resting Any comfortably roll. in the hotel for the 8 o'clock game. And you'll have the sweet, dulcet tones of Dean Gemmel for the night game again tonight. And joined by Dave Falco, local guy, which should be a lot of fun to listen to those two. For the 4 o'clock game uh, this afternoon, I'll be joined by Phil Drobnik once again. So no shortage of inside jokes and making fun of the men's players that are out on the ice when we have Phil around. Yeah, tough shot there on that last rock for Miranda. Ended up jamming on their own and taking it out of the house. Now yeah, you, you, can, you can tell, Cam, that this it's not a team that wants to play from behind and chase. They, they really are trying to keep things open and, and simplify the game, but when when you get behind, you don't really have a whole lot of option there. And Team Rhyme continues to stack rocks in the center of the sheet and make Team Shield chase, which is exactly what they should be doing. Yeah, on that one there, uh, rather than that play, would you have tried to draw down to the top four and start bringing the action in? Well, I think they wanted to come deeper with that one. I, huh? if, if they did call guard, it just overcurled, but... If you throw on that exact same line that they're on and it ends up in the top of the eight foot, that's a great spot. But even if it's short for a guard yeah. and covers that stone, it's also good. So you're kind of in between the two shots. If if that rock was over eight, six inches seven, to the right five. and guard, it'd be move. great. If it was another two feet farther than the falling. house, it'd be this great. Just ended up right between the two. Good. Well, there's a good shot to open yeah. things up for Team Shield. Good result there. Tessa Thurlow opening things up for her squad. That's a very important shot to keep the center open. And now it's your stone in the center, too. So any raise that they end up playing, they can try to stick it with their own yellow stone. So very good shot by Tessa Thurlow. Calls yeah, Kim. A little sip of Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar, <laughs> I think, on that one. Yeah, Kim looking to go top four here. And like Tyler said, uh, she can draw under with her depending on where she ends up or play the run back. How was that, Dr. Pepper, there? Boy, that's good stuff, Cam. I really appreciate you bringing that haul in here for us. I don't know where I'd be without it. You got to get those 23 flavors going, that's for sure. Every single one of them. Makes your taste buds dance. <laughs> Team Rhyme playing the out turn come around draw. Really hammering it to get by. Gets to the. <laughs> I kind of like. Honest to God, I could, I could listen to Kim all day on the yeah. mic. Roll it, roll it. <laughs> I, I think outside like of nine? maybe Team yeah. Fujisawa from Japan, nobody has oh. more fun on the ice than, than Kim Rhyme. The game should be fun, right? It yeah. is a game. Yeah. It should be fun. There should be I, more I don't people think like I remember that. Yeah. that very much playing at Nationals close, back in close. the day. Got room. Not as much fun as it should have been with Got. a means to an end. Close. close. Yep. And it's rare to see yep. a skip Hard. that energetic oh. and excited all the time because a lot of times they're trying to calculate a lot of information. Eight, four. Good run back there again from Team Shield. Jordan Hine with... Excellent run back. So I think Team Shield's starting to get their feet under him a little bit now. Getting a little more comfortable and making a few very nice shots. Kim looking to draw under the center guard again here. The, uh, the fun must be infectious right now. We see some smiles from Libby Brundage and Kate Flannery there as well. That's a good note. No matter how many times you've been to Nationals, I always have fun. And uh, <laughs> yeah, obviously take it serious, but you got to have fun with it too. These ladies have been to Nationals quite a few times now. 
Sweepers carry that all the way down to biting the top eights almost. Stop. Just short of that. But does get third count, so great sweep. But I think then we'll roll from more that Flannery way. and I think we we'll throw it again. Katie Ryan. Okay. I still like a nine here. What? I, I kinda like, like the draw nine. here. Okay. See if you can't get one in there now. Yeah, I, th I think it might be time, uh, especially with where that red rock ended up. It can't really be used for a raise without using the yellow rock, too. So, again, Team Shield Close. really wanted to keep Close. things yep. open and give yep. themselves a good opportunity yep. to score. Yep. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh and right Eight, through the hole. So close to redirecting off of that rock in the top 12s into the rock in the side eights, but instead gets neither. And Rhyme still in control, looking to set up a steal again. Special thank you to Columbia for their uniforms for quite a few of these teams out here. Good gear. So out turn draw for Kim Rhyme. And I like the come around as opposed to the tap on this shot, Cam, for two reasons. Number one, taps are so precise with where you need to catch the stone you're bumping in order to stay buried behind. Number two, tapping that stone probably doesn't get you another counter because the shooter may not out count the yellow stone on the top of the 12 foot. This one really needs to curl and maybe get a chip and roll in. Does roll to the top of the yeah, eight foot and take that draw path yeah. away from Team Shield, but I think yeah. you may see a double, possibly triple attempt. It does move. Here. I don't want to I... go so far as to say a quad attempt with <laughs> maybe even spilling to that rock in the back, but yeah, Just you should see. be able to move at least two of these out, and if you get a little fortunate on yeah. the that third stone that. Redstone in the side of the eight foot, maybe move three. Yeah. This is one set up in practice to try to play a quad for fun. <laughs> Hit that one just off nose, maybe even clip that back red one too. Not really something you want set up in a game. <laughs> no, you don't want to be Means shooting this. At four. Let's see if we end up with a, a Plinko well game here. Oh, Ooh, just so close. by. Almost Shit. makes contact for a near triple. Much better than it was. Rhyme just continuing to attack with these draws, or even around rocks in the house. Able to do that with very little threat. Not a lot of fear of a multiple point end. Even half buried here wouldn't be too bad, would it? Oh, that'd be a very good result, yeah. <laughs> They're saying a little fudgier here. That means uh might be a little sticky or the rock might grab just a little bit more than normal. Out turn, come around, draw for Kim Ryan. Would love to get a piece of the forefoot here if they can. They seem to like the line, but I think it needs to come up a little bit still. 
The weight seems to be all there. I had a 13.5, so it's probably back 12 or maybe even through that here. It should be plenty. It will dig once it gets across center here in that slide path, but still goes all the way to the back 12s. There's, no, there's nothing. They're sitting. So it will be a draw to the forefoot for one point for Team Shield. Miranda just needs to get full eight foot for one point. Miranda needing the first uh, four ends here, two clutch draws. Had good testers for early in this game. and Big one now, throwing against three. I think this is light. A little bit. Sweepers seem to think it Top needs eight. a little right out of hand. Boy. Should be a straighter side, so should carry a little bit. Yep. Gotta go. Really ham right now. Need this to carry to get to the eight foot. Gotta go. Still really going hard. Ends up Ooh, tough break. coming up short. Looks like it's three for Rhyme. At least two. I think that back red one is still closer. And indeed it is. So it's a steal of three for Team Rhyme as that rock comes up just a couple inches short. And after four ends, score Rhyme six, Shield one. The everyday person may not aspire to be a professional athlete or an Olympic athlete. You may just want to be the best person you can be. You just may want to sleep better. You may want to feel better. Thorne has many products that can support all of those things. So it's not just about performing or running faster or jumping higher. It's those little things that go into having a higher quality of life. Beginning of the fifth end, draw number three, the Women's USA Curling National Championships. Team Ryan with a big steal of three in the fourth end. Cam, it, really Team Ryan has been in control this entire game. It, it's It's been a chase for Team Shield. Sometimes in places maybe they didn't need to, but really Team Ryan attacking the house, making Shield chase their stones, and eventually, even you know when there's a relatively open draw you get a miss on one of those shots where you put pressure on against multiple points and now we see that on the scoreboard yeah and shield had a couple tough breaks in there with some run backs and trying to make some doubles and unfortunately it kind of put her in that spot and yeah see. the wrong side of the inch a few times in that end for sure yeah no. just a two Two. Just a two. Looking around at the other games, you see Team Strauss takes me. three. Two. The Straight fourth end on two. Two. Whoa, whoa, whoa. making it take a 5 4 lead. Oh, Team Peterson with a steal of two on Rachel working to go up 6 1 in their tilt. Rhyme once again going into the forefoot to start the end. Good corner guard from Amelia Hintz to start for, for Shield. Katie Rhyme having a solid game to start out here for, for Team Rhyme, and that's so important in getting the other team to have to chase you, placing your lead stones well to start the end. Yeah, Kim going in here again because she's got uh... – Couple free draws to the forefoot. Miranda doesn't want to quite go after him yet, and they are a little behind the house or the button. The six-one deficit. It's not insurmountable. 
really, you don't want to try to get it all back at once. A three would be great, but if you can get two, you still have five ends to play. Hang around long enough that keep chipping away and get yourself back in this game. Just a oh, one! What? Straight side! Straight side! A wise okay. person once told me, one. go for the twos and the threes yep. will fall. I'm good. Yep. It sounds about right. <laughs> yep. Yep. Go all the hard, way. Hard, hard, hard. We got it. Hard to my go, 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 go. Get over the hog line. Gotta go. <laughs> good. 20. Good sweep there. That well swept to get that over. Just got a text message from my friend Gary Luke back in Duluth with a picture of an eight-ender. Oh. Monday, 5 p.m. league. Ross Littman, Sam Perella, Matt Mellon, Jackson Purdy. That looks like a legit eight-ender. Congratulations, fellas. Don't forget to get that patch. Cam, you have any eight enders in your curling career? <laughs> I don't. Uh, I've got a few sevens, but no eights yet. This is head. John, any eights? He's got one. John's folks. got one. <laughs> got one, gave one. <laughs> Joel, any eight enders, buddy? That's a big goose egg, folks. Ten. He's got a seven, though. Ten. Close. I, I can claim two for myself. Yep. 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 Hard. Yep, hard. I, to hit, I was skipping both games. I had to hit Whoa. the house no, once, day. and I had to hit full 12 once for oh. my eight. Nine, eight. I don't know if I've ever been so nervous in my life as the first one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I might never get a crack again. Yeah. Arena Ice out in Hollywood Curling, Los Angeles, in their uh, summer blockbuster spiel. We're down 4-2, playing six. Our first game got eight. Wow. That was a fun one. And Team Rhyme happy to keep this as open as they can. Hitting that stone to sit three. Ends up jamming on their own and rolling out. So maybe the door open a little bit now for Team Shield to try to put together a multiple point end. Do it, do it yeah. Either a hit and roll or a straight draw into the corners here. Looks like they're going for under the corner. Yeah, it's a good setup with those two corners to get underneath and, and maybe stack a couple of them under there. So I'd, I'd like to see maybe a I'm top high. eight type draw if you can, but you they're really looking maybe to hit head. once again. I like that. Seem to be really hesitant to play draws, Cam, that they, yeah. they see something in and they just want to get rid of it. I think it's going to come hard off this jungle, but let's not play it. The only dangerous part of ending up top eight here under the corners is... Kim could potentially put one a two guard on that center line and make Not it difficult wrong. to get in for that Lots one on the four foot. Oh, I think curl, 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 Team Shield curl, be very happy curl. or should be very happy if Rhyme is throwing guards at any point in this end. That I was not 10-7. That is that straighter turn. They said they weren't really expecting that, but kind of what we've seen so far from the intern going that way. Oh, I, I hate to even mention this now, but his father is making me do it. Jake Zeman, alternate playing in, in this event, was on the team that I got my second eight-ender against in the Duluth Curling Club. <laughs> I, I believe uh, Dad might have been on that team too, though, uh, Jeremy. Doesn't mention himself, obviously. <laughs> right. Make sure his kid gets you. You want to drop <laughs> I, I don't know if I'd claim that I had one against me yet. Well, he wanted to make sure everybody knew that Jake had one on him. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me on that, Jeremy. Jordan Hine playing the hit once again. Close. Close. Hard to make Close. use of the corners. So you can get one Whoa, underneath. Got it, curl. Whoa. They are playing the hit once again. Curl. Whoa. Whoa. Curl. Yep. Curl. Curl. Hard roll. Yep. Nine, nine. 
Still mostly open there. I think you can see all of it from the hack. Yeah, so if you have an eight enter scored against you, uh, I suppose there's always that little carrot. To like if I just draw this four foot, I could get one out of this. <laughs> and then and then you end up missing it and giving up eight. Uh, that's the only way I could think. John's giving me the stink eye right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I, that well, that's, must have been what it was. <laughs> that's the best way to give up eight, though, is still trying to win the game. I, I've seen a few situations where a player or a team hits on purpose in a game that they still have a chance to win because they'd rather lose the game than give up eight or have a chance to give up eight. That one goes by for Team Rhyme. Now yeah, like, that door is open for Shield to I think we have maybe to be get a two or a three. If we're under, we need to be top eight because it's still going to leave them this full of bra. I think if we go under the corners, we have a shot at three. That's still well thought out. Or do you, you like want splitting? that to get to the eight foot? Okay, top 12. Yeah, you're down by five points. You need to take every opportunity you can to try to score more. Splitting the house here is only going to ensure a two. And you have a very good chance of setting up at least a three-point end now with the way these rocks are set. So where, in your opinion, is the perfect spot for this rock? Got a curl. Well, if you could bury this stone completely, biting top eight. We're splitting. Close. That would be great. Even if they hit the open yep. one, you you could still stack two more on it. Curl. Or another one, I should say. Curl. Set up a three. Really Roll. hanging Hard out, roll. so they're going to end up pushing that 13. under the corner and rolling to back 12. Okay. So this creates a bit yeah. of a decision for Team Rhyme. If they hit this stone in the open, Shields almost assuredly going under the corner again to set up a three. So they will hit this stone, and and yeah, the the three point end is definitely on the table for Shield now. That was a pretty good break there for Miranda, having tap and get that one fully buried over there. Jake's father, Jeremy, says he sat that game so Jake could play. And then and Jake ended up giving up the eight. So I don't know if that, that might I, be worse, I, be the guy that sat to allow the your son to be yeah. in the game where he gave yeah. up eight. That's just bad parenting. <laughs> or could, that could just be a story, too. Like maybe he saw it coming in and he went and sat down. I don't know. <laughs> you see an eight-ender coming up, then there's some other things I need you to predict for me. <laughs> That will hit and roll out. So here is Shield's opportunity to set up this three-point end. If they can bury can this in the no. top of the house. That's fully buried. A great chance of getting this three. Top 12. Touching eight is fine, but I'd like to be top 12. Yeah. Okay, I'm a Heather Cook from down in the Dallas area. <laughs> Once you explain the, the go for two and three will fall term. Um, I don't know if it was fall, but uh, threes will okay. come, I guess I should have said. Um, threes will sure. fall, threes will come. Um, so when you're going for two and you've got yourself set up just like this, they were going for two on this one, and now they've got an opportunity to get three just because they were going for the two. I guess does that kind of makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Anytime you're playing for a multiple point end, sometimes you don't have to go all out for the three. That kind of creates itself. This one needs to get by their other stone we're there, because we're there. We're there. We're there. We can't. Okay. It wasn't going to bury, but that's going to go all the way through anyways. We should have left it. So just a little bit of an error again on that. Straight line with a little more speed. And one where you really need to get a little more aggressive at, at burying, too. There's a question out there about which is going to be the feature sheet. It's either going to be one of the middle, B or C, for the rest of the week. Uh, there will be a link on the USCA's website or United States I website. believe they are doing a couple on sheet D, too. Yeah. 
Cam, it's like your job to know these things. You're you're on the tech side. I, you know, I you're know. having the play by play guy actually <laughs> setting you up here. Heck, I didn't even know who had the hammer in the second end. <laughs> well, that's not normally your job. So that's I know, okay. I know. <laughs> this is on a similar line to where Shields was, and I think that this one's all there too. It's a little softer handle, so they're hoping that it turns over and dies, but may end up going around it too. For ease, for people wanting to know where the feature is, we're going to start adding the feature to the title uh, to make it easier for you guys. If you go to USA Curling YouTube page, you'll see it there. Unfortunately, you won't what? see it on the Curling Zone um, clicking that button. But if you go to the you USC Bay's yeah. YouTube page directly, you'll see the title there. I think a 25 gets there. So after that draw, let's go a little deep. Shot for two for Miranda Shield. Needs to get basically full eight foot. Playing this same path that they played a little bit outside of where they threw before. Watch it. Does look no. to be all there. No, no. Hoping that this one hits the brakes for the second point. Just keeps gliding to the back and looks like it's only going to be one. So that straight line really quick. And Rock just continues to glide. So the score will be six to two. After five ends and with the fifth end break, that will be brought to you by Warm Room Hero, the intuitive curling club software that takes the stress out of schedules, registrations, and more. Warm Room Hero, a platform built for curlers by curlers. Check out Warm Room Hero at curling.club today. And we do go into the break with the score, Rhyme 6, Shield 2. Let's say you're in high school and there's a sport you like, but sometimes you think, you know, it might be cool to try a new sport. Twin Cities Orthopedics is ready to go with more doctors, specialty services, and convenient urgent care locations. Ready, set, TCO.
Back to the action for the start of the sixth end. In this women's feature draw. Draw number three on the women's side. The 2023 Women's USA Curling National Championships. Team Rhyme leading 6-2 over Team Shield. Rhyme will have Hammer in the sixth. This is Tyler George joined by Cam Rittenauer. And Cam's going to be leaving us this afternoon, unfortunately. He gets to go out with a bang. Have a fun time on commentary before he goes. Thanks for everything this week, too, Cam. All the snacks and all the Dr. Pepper Zero Sugars that you brought in for me. I appreciate well, that. Absolutely. Well, keep pushing it. We'll uh, get Dr. Pepper for next year <laughs> as a sponsor. Looks like they read this one pretty well, as Tyler has brought up in a lot of the games before. After the mop. Uh... Yep, John Landsteiner. It's faster after the break at the fifth. One does cross the center line, but stays up top for a guard. Ryan refusing to give up control of the, the center of the sheet, coming around with an outturn draw for Katie Rhymes' first stone. Yeah, I'm not sure how this happened that I ended up here. Uh, at the beginning of the week, I said I didn't want to put these muffs on. You guys got a difficult job of chatting all day. I know I'm a good talker, but I don't know if I... <laughs> I'm the best commentator, but I appreciate you having me. Well, you also realize that it's warmer with these things on your ears in here, too. Absolutely. It, yeah. After the break, I had to put them back on quick because my ears were getting cold. I have to say, this is one of the colder venues in the arena that I've been in. I'm used to being out there at least moderately sweeping a little bit to stay warm. But yeah, for sitting and uh, commentating, spectating, is a little on the colder side. It's so good to layer up. Ten. Get the opportunity. Tons of He's got over a on sheet A. Looked girl. like Tab Peterson was about to run away with it. Got a Rachel working with four Roll in the, the fifth. Stick. Cut that, wow. that lead to 6 5. Nine, nine. You see the score. Missed it. That'll be interesting to go back and look at it. Yeah, that's a major turn of events in that game. And the, the game that. Uh, we had yesterday on the women's side that Rachel Workin played in. They got behind and made a strong comeback, came down to the last rock of the game, and you know, they've they've shown the ability to put pressure on their opponent and score when they had their backs up against the wall. And down by five to the reigning Olympic team, put up a four-end spot. That's that's an impressive thing to do. Yeah, in that other game, they were tied five-five in the tenth, and. Uh... Force them to make a difficult draw for the win. Yeah, team working very competitive all their games so far, and that's the best of the best that you're playing against. So it'll be interesting to see if they can carry that momentum over to the second half of the game. So team Shield with one stone up front. Looking to come around once again. I think we're all there. Three, four. Eight. Anything, gotta go all, there. all there, don't want to go. Yeah, around Set. it. Wonder if that lead, like Set. John, did he ever have to remind Hard. anyone to, that the, it's a little faster all the way. after Straight the, all the way. break here? Did Landsteiner have to? Yeah. Well, I mean, we would always mention it to each other, and that's the running joke with saying it in every single game that we're calling. He's telling John that it's faster after the break because I would say that to him before every first throw of the sixth at those tournaments, even though I 100% knew that he knew. I wasn't re reminding him. I was just annoying him. That was the idea. John, it's faster after the break. Okay, thanks, Ty. That's, and that's the end of it. <laughs> we did the same thing, but uh, they probably did it for me seriously. <laughs> yeah. Well, and if, if a rock did go into the rings for an opponent in those games too after oh, yeah. the break – uh, we'd look at each other. Is it faster after the break? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's probably only funny to us, but it didn't really matter. And it's still probably only funny to me, as I mention it every single game, too. But I don't care. I have the mic. I can say what I want. That's right. Two, two, three. Lines I can go get a cherry go jar, and you can really go nuts. <laughs> two, gliding. Just barely three. over center. Three, three. The rock in the Lines top okay. of the 12 foot. Team over Shield center. just Might looking to throw. Up. Another center guard. See if they can set up a steal of some kind. 
Let's put it just past the Columbia logo there. Just a straight peel here for Team Rhyme. Content to keep this as open as possible, as they should. Four Another update. Oh, sorry, Go right ahead, Cam. Another update on uh, Tyler's dress wear here. He is 35. all bundled up, of course, in his nice jacket there. But he's got his mittens on. He's just uh, prepped and ready for These this. These are not mittens, Cam. These are mitts. They're mitts. That's a big difference. Old Asham mitts. Actually, misplaced my balance plus ones. Just a These two. ones are a little worn. A little Not as worn as my old shoes, it. but Sorry. still worn. Close curl. Where are we? Mitts. Mitts. You Close got curl. It. <laughs> curl. Yep. Coming around. Close straight. 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 Now trying to go good. around okay. this rock in the top of the 12 okay. foot. Get as much separation as they can. Okay. Ends up going to the back of the button. So it will be a. Uh, Double attempt from Team Rhyme. I get 20. Okay, I gave a little too much on that, too. Okay. Gave a little extra. Maybe Brundage is first of this sixth end. I felt like I was sliding really slow, and I really wasn't. Good opportunity to, to make the double before you get to skip stones, make it easier on your skip. A little more curl going this direction, trying to hold the sweep. Oh, it sweeps it to a dead stick. A little apology from Kim Rhyme. One, two, eight. Yeah, higher is better. And now an opportunity to 40. play the guard for Team Shield and see if they can set up this steal attempt. That rock in the top of the 12 cam essentially serving as another guard for Team Shield. Absolutely. Team Shield hoping to put a 1 2 or a high guard here. Mine's curl okay. time. Really got a curl. Looks like it has a long ways to go to curl, but should turn over curl. some. Got a curl. Whoa, whoa, we're good. I think it's going to be all right. Should get across the center just fine. I'm good. Got a stick. 16. A little, a little tighter. Yeah, a little tighter than they would have liked, but. Still guarding it. Maybe able to make both these yellows go if they hit this in the right spot. Be a run back for Libby Brundage. Needs to get up just a little bit to make contact with that other red. I don't think it's going to get there. Ends so up just, just a straight, straight peel. peel. That'll be just fine. I don't mind a hair lot. I get an inch less. Sure. Miranda Sheila asking for a little less broom for this guard. Two is fine. They did have to wait for that last one to, to come down and curl across, so... Error on the side of the center or on the up? Just barely over center. Okay, I meant pro side. Center? Okay. Inch less! Yeah, I like Miranda taking a little less broom again. 40? Yeah. If this is going to be a higher guard than what they threw last time, not traveling as far, need to cut the broom down a little bit to make sure it still gets across that center line. Uh, three, four. Oof, three, four, four a hand. little three. deep. Uh, three, not be where they want it, but four. probably play around it three, if uh, if you could now. If it's a four, get it around and go. Bring it all the way back to okay, your other okay. one. A little bit. Yeah, if this is gonna come in, you could sweep it right around, but it's like they okay. waited just a little too long to do that. Yeah. Now yeah, once you hear that four call, you gotta trust your sweepers. Then as the as the vice, just have them hammer that stone. Because if that gets around, it goes all the way to top fours with a sweep. Now you're actually in a pretty good position. You're one 
missed run away from guarding and possibly stealing a two instead. Yeah, even half buried there, they can't make that double off of it. Yeah, and that's that is the whole point with the communication on that too. You know, when you're yelling that weight, once you hear that four, then you make the call based on where they they're saying it's going to go. And in that situation, four out of hand probably means that you can get it to a six. If that's the case, you're top four. Then again, you're in a you're not in a bad position. Absolutely, big swing potentially there. Um, Kim looking to play this run and sitting two in the house then. Yeah, possibility of maybe all of a sudden setting up a, a two-point end for for Rhyme. Let's give credit to the the sweepers for for Shield called that weight perfectly. Yeah, they're exactly called where it that right was out of hand. So, you know, they're doing all they can do to try to give the their teammates the best opportunity they can to get the most out of that shot. So, they are very vocal as a team. The communication is is flowing back and forth throughout, and that's a major plus for. A younger squad is a lot of times it, it tends to get silent when you're not quite sure on a line or, or a weight. But they they do very well with keeping that, con that communication going. That wrecks on their own and bumps that to back 12. So Just that steal up. opportunity still on the table for Shield. Top of the 12 foot would be a... Really good spot right now, Cam, with that other stone in the back of the 12s. Just top 12. Top that 12. is where they're calling Same. for it. Wait, then. Yeah. I'm going to throw like a foot or two less. As far as line, there's a little room for mar or air here. I mean, you, get, you could be either way on that center line of foot and be okay. Yeah, for the placement here, if, if I'm Team Shield, if I'm going to leave either side for a draw with a little more showing, I want to leave the outturn side because that's the straighter Five. line. So a little tougher to get Five. a rock to finish. Six. And maybe a little bit faster, too. Line only. Coming this is down. Five, Three, they're saying. Out Whoa, of hand just now. 12. Calling it to four. Needs Three. to curl. Okay. <laughs> the line should be okay, but. Good throw. To stop now. Ooh, a little deep. Brought it little, maybe a couple inches too far. Yeah, now that they make that double, they can still get their one out of double it. Double would be shot rock now. Yeah, if that stops another even three, four inches higher than a nose hit for that double on this yellow stone, would not have been shot over that back stone. Yeah, unfortunately, they were, were worried a little more about the line than being a little higher. Looks like with the ice, they're coming with the peel weight. So opposite turn this time, playing the in and close to the center line. Could see a little bit of a jump on this one, Cam, with being as close to the center as it is and going towards sheet A. We'll see if this rock ends up crossing. And it looks like it's curling a little early already. Yeah, exactly what we what we thought, yeah. Cam. That rock was going right away. Yeah, another foot wider it would have run a lot straighter there. But like you said, on that center line, it really takes off. So Team Shield gets a steal at two. Get themselves back in this match. Now the score after six ends. Rhyme six, Shield four. <laughs>
just because you're not a professional athlete doesn't mean that you should accept less. The beauty about what Thorne does is our product quality is the same whether they're in the athletic line or whether they're just for the everyday person. Thorne has kept true to never compromising on quality, never compromising on efficacy, never compromising on safety for not only athletes but for everyone who would use their products. Two, five, three, just a two. Seventh end of draw three. Got to sit. 2023 Women's USA Over Curling, curling National anyway, Championships. Still got to sit. I really got to sit. Steal a two by Seven. Team six Shield. Now close. cut the deficit to 6-4. Six. Six. Trailing Team Rhyme. This first stone of the end glides into the rings, though, so Team Rhyme will be able to hit that rock. Special shout out to my mom and dad, Daryl and Kathleen. I don't get on the commentary too often. Well, you better. And of course, my you fiance, better, Kelsey, she might be listening in here. And Hello, mom and dad, and to Cam's much better half. <laughs> Cam is the first one to admit that because he's a smart man. Absolutely. The first words you learn is sorry. <laughs> I'm going to write that down. Hopefully I'll need to use that someday. Two. My mom would probably argue two. differently on my first One's there, fine. Though. Just a two. Two. Three. Three. Line's good. Straight. Three. Straight if anything. Just to my broom. Two. Okay, got to sit then. Got to sit. Out of set. Two and a half. We'll look at six. the action again on the other sheets. And Works. Peterson working. 6-5, as we mentioned. Coming to the end of sheet, or uh, end number six. McMakin Strauss. Strauss with a 6-4 lead after six ends. And Anderson leading Bear 3-1 in the seventh end. After that center guard by Hintz now. Ryan trying to come around that stone. They don't want to go behind the tee. Just Ends do it. up on the back of the button. So you see a freeze I don't mind top four here Shield. either. Yeah, I like the freeze here. It makes them... Get some movement and give Shield another chance to draw another one under. Tessa okay. Thurlow playing the out turn Let's freeze. Curl. This one, curl. sweeper's calling curl. it to back Bills, 12 right we? now, so they need to turn it curl. over. Curl, curl. Okay. We're tapping now. Curl. She came down to maybe back 15, eight one. type of weight, maybe back 12. I guess bumped it all the way back there, but not a bad result. Now shot rock, edge to edge on the guard. So we had a request from Kevin on the YouTube chat. Tyler, what did you guys do as a team to keep sharp when you were getting ready for a, when you have a big lead in early in a game? To keep sharp when you have a big lead in a game. It's important to, to not relax and get out of your routines that's the biggest thing is still go through the same routine that you always do even when you have a big lead and and don't uh, don't lose your focus it's really easy to do that too where you know you start looking up in the stands or like not paying attention to Unless lines or the clean pads freeze. You, you try to do like everything you, that you would do in a tie game and you know the shots you're playing five. might be a little bit different but the routine is so important. You don't want to get out of your comfort zone and then all of a sudden realize, oh, we just gave up a steal of two because we we really weren't paying as close of attention as we did before. So you don't want to overcomplicate it. There isn't really a, a simple formula for doing that. It's just really staying 
staying focused, Close. not doing anything different. Ten. Yep, yep. Hard, gotta go. Hard, man, hard. hard, hard, hard. Really hard. It's trying hard. to hold this line. Hard. Rex, the center guard, and Nine, seven. again that out turn going towards sheet A, curling a little bit more. Rex the guard and Team Ryan would be happy to hit this back stone and sit two with no guards in play. Unfortunate for Team Shield there. If they make that hit and roll underneath, they'd be sitting two undercover. A chance to maybe get another steal. So Kate Flannery with the intern pass. Kim being okay with a blank here, being it's an odd end, and now we're getting closer to the end here. She'd be okay. Blanking it, moving on to the eighth with the hammer. Yeah, this they're in a zero or two position now, which is perfect for them. They either take the blank or take the two-point end. I think the steal is over. Like, I don't think we're stealing. Okay. Ten. Okay. Team Shield deciding that they don't believe that there's a steal in play. One of the things with these shots, too, is if they do decide to play that freeze that Miranda was looking at, if you make the freeze well Got enough that they curl. can't clear your stone, they probably have to lose their own and maybe their Hard shooter, too, playing a hit. So you can still play, get a good defensive Got. setup by doing that. Now they make the double. Nine, nine. So the two likely out of play. You see Team Rhyme now thinking that... They're going to draw out of this stone with the two-point lead in the seventh. This is not a shot I would play. I'd love to say that outright. <laughs> I agree with you on that one. Yeah, this I is think I'd just be hitting stone. that one. Yeah, you're going to hit that stone. You're going to you're playing for the blank at this point, eliminating the seventh end, move on to the eighth, shortening the game. But you know, playing the out turn freeze, they're thinking maybe they could get a cheap two, and there's no danger. It's it's not that they're taking a risk as much as this end is pretty much laid out for a simple blank without having to do anything extraordinary. And now this rock gliding, they need this to stop. If this goes through, then Shield could set up a force as it is. And still bites, but Shield shot. So. I think we have to come like top four over here. I missed my opportunity there. I was yes. going to... Do a quote from one of my favorite fictionary commentators. It's a bold move, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him, but now the play's already done, so. <laughs> and as Rachel Workin was climbing back into that game on sheet A, top four, top Tabitha eight. Peterson comes Baby, out with a three. Got us it. Sixth end, and now, sorry, yeah, sixth end still, right? I'm trying to get it look past all the players here yep so now is nine five after six touch. peterson leads Sit. Sit. team shield hoping for this rock to sit and stay second count and does just soon enough A little backwards strategy maybe here with playing the freeze when the blank was in play and now playing the hit when the blank is out of play. Maybe thinking they can bring that other redstone into play for another counter by hitting. Do you ever hit the other yellow with the hope that if they hit yours and it jams on your other red that it might roll in? If you're going to hit one. I mean, I, I wouldn't be hitting either one of them. But if I was going to hit one, I would probably hit the one they did. Just because if you get a rollout over here, then you can hit and sit two just there. Ten. Hitting on that side, you're, you're stacking your own two next to each other. and makes that double a lot easier for, for Team Shield. 
So if you're gonna do it, yeah, you want it spread away from your other stone. Fearless. So if by chance they did get a roll out here on on Shield's hit, now you can hit that other yellow stone and For your deuce. try to sit two, and they only get one crack at the double to to kill your two. Absolutely. So important hit and stick for Miranda Shield. Avoid giving up the possibility for a two-point end. This one is on the wide side. This line does curl more, so has a chance to come back here. Okay. Still a little bit too wide and rolls off, so maybe the door open for a two again for Rhyme. The other option here too, Cam, would be if you really did want to play the blank still, just hitting the outside of that yellow one and rolling both of them off because there, there is nowhere for Team Shield to go to try to set up a force after that. But they are going to draw to around the T line, hoping that maybe they get a jam on that yellow stone in the back of the 12 foot. This will be fast, but with the outturn going away, probably see this hook pretty hard, Cam, even though it's a fast line. This should turn over because it will get across the center line right at the beginning of the shot. So I think you'll see this hook very hard. And that is turning early. Really don't want this to cross that stone. But ends up right on the nose of it. That's a good spot, but yeah. now a refreeze attempt for Team Shield to try to still force. Macon takes one on sheet B. Strauss now leads 6-5 with Hammer in the eighth end. Rock is a long ways to go, Cam, to get to that line for the freeze. Just now left the center line. Getting better now, though. Actually turning over hard. Ends up short of the freeze, but be a little bit of a tricky one to take out without jamming. There is a shot for three for Team Rhyme if they hit this correctly. If they hit, I'm going to say two-thirds, Cam on the inside That's why I didn't trust the time clips that I the outside of your own stone bumps that yellow one out and rolls that to the middle it looks like that's what rhyme is playing at the very least to hit the inside even if it does miss all the backing and sticks around it would be a score of two but if it just clips the side of that red there is a possibility of a three-point end so kim rhymes last shot i do like that she's taking a Plenty of stick. I, it looks like a lot, but you really want to make sure that you're on that side of that stone for this shot. If you're anywhere, if you hit that stone anywhere on the inside, it's a guaranteed one. And if the rock sticks around, you're you're obviously getting two. It should be, I'm going to guess, around board weight somewhere in there, maybe a little bit more than that. That looks like a little more than board. So want to hit just about two-thirds if they can. This is going to be really close. Oh, 
Oh, they very may close. have overswept it just a hair. That's real close. Is that my two? I'm going with red on this one. See, I was going to go with red, so I I beat you to it. Look. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go red so we could both be wrong. Oh, okay. I'm not taking the other one just because <laughs> you took red because that's what I'm seeing. You got a short on Really nice shot there by Kim Rhyme, and we'll wait and see what they hang. But a minimum of two. We're gonna make John hold on a little longer to have that score hung first before we go to break. I think I see a three. Drum roll. And it is indeed three. So a 9-4 lead for Team Ryan. Very nice shot there from Kim. Moving on to the eighth end. And here, Cam, beginning of the eighth end, you know what that means. Oh, it's time to warm up room. <laughs> it's time for warm room hero. Why don't you read the copy, Cam? It's, you, you, this is your last one. Let's, let's have you read the ad. Go after it here. No, that's where I want to go. I want to go <laughs> to the warm up room. I'm, I'm still having you read the copy for warm room hero here. Go All ahead. All right. Warm room hero. It is more than just software. It's run by curlers, dedicated to building long-term relationships with your club. Warm Room Hero provides continuous support to ensure our website exceeds your members' expectations. Check out Warm Room Hero today at Curling Club for a special event pricing. That's dead on, Cam, except curling.club. Curling.club. Oh, we got to make sure we get that site right so people can uh, get curling there. Curling.club. Dot club. Dot club. Other than that, I felt pricing. you kind of brought your professional voice out a little bit for that, too. Maybe you didn't notice. Yeah, game face. <laughs> game face. Well, I wanted to be uh, one of those commercial gurus, I guess. It is 9-4 Team Rhyme leading Team Shield after seven ends, starting the eighth. And Rhyme going right into the rings with both of their first two. Corner guard already thrown. So Amelia hits with a well-thrown corner, and now will be going underneath that one, whether it's another corner or into the house. And again, Katie Ryan with a very strong game, setting up her team once again with two good shots to start. So while we're on lead rocks here, uh, Evan asks on the YouTube channel, if the ice speeds up after the break, or at the break, how long does that typically last for? That'll depend on the ice surface uh, for our national and world level competitions. You might see a, a half an end somewhere in there that that speed picks up. And once the players are back out there and the temperature changes again and a few rocks get thrown, it doesn't last very long. So it's not faster for the duration of the game afterwards. It's once you get through front end stones, that's usually about where you see it die down. But that can vary from, from sheet to sheet. I'm guessing that's frost coming back again after the mop had cleaned it off? or A little bit, yeah. And, again, the temperature, because the players are back on the ice, that makes a difference, too. And Again, don't get too far into the science with it, because right. I, I got nothing. 
Like, okay. I can't help you. Either. just know it does it. That's the that's the best I got. I Yeah, I right. know what happens. That's all I need to know. Yeah. Sun comes up in the morning. It, it happens. I got okay. you. I know that it does. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> hey, John Landsteiner. Yeah, uh, just what? so you know, the ice. Yes. Uh, I'm more worried made, about this than getting uh, after chilled. The fifth end after the break, yeah. Yeah, just reminding you of that. So three rocks piled up in the forefoot now for Team Rhyme. Team Shield will have to move those around. And, and Cam, a spot where you'll see some experienced teams curl. tap those stones around and try to create backing for yourself. So curl. that top curl stone, it. if you can bump that to back four or back curl. eights, curl. they have a pocket of rocks roll, that you roll, can roll, actually roll, use roll. to freeze on. If you make the double and roll hot. mostly under Nine. the corner, it's well executed. Learning that those rocks in play can be advantageous for you. Yeah, behind the T line. Back. You don't that have is to only use those corners. Not as good as a guard, but it could play as the same role. If you could freeze to them later, it's harder for them to get rid of your rock because it jams on theirs. Yeah, the more clutter you have, especially behind the T line, the better chance you have of finding a three point end. is made actually ticks that rock towards the center you like guards up that rock that shield has yeah, now so i don't mind a trying one. to find a three somewhere it's like they're opting to throw another corner i think it's okay a high one Second stone of the end for Tessa Thurston. Uh, three, two, three, two, three. You've seen Team three. Shield a little deep on their draws, especially no. with the Where guards like, tap up coming tap tight, yeah. tight or top ring. Yep, yep, yep. I'm bringing their sweepers into play as much as they'd like. That's okay. Okay. It still That's does get some separation though. Now that rock is almost fully buried. Could be. I'm not down there, I guess. But This will be a peel attempt regardless for Team Ryan. That's what sisters do, Kim. <laughs> so they will peel the top stone. It'll be Brundage playing the intern peel. That's just fine. Gets rid of one guard. I suppose with a peel peel, the max that Shield could get out of this is potentially three. And that's not all bad either, because then you've got the hammer in the ninth still with the lead. Yeah, and still three rocks left for Rhyme to yeah, mm -hmm. I think the guard try to limit whatever shot. damage they find. Jordan Hines, first stone of this eighth end. Plus add. This one looks to be a tight guard once again, trying to play it to a high guard. Maybe hitting the brakes a little bit though. Gotta die. Over curls a little, but will be a guard. Or it's 16-2 on that guard, so that's plenty fast still.
would that equate to about a 14-8 for T-line then? It would probably be pretty close, yeah, based on that distance. At least that fast, I think. On this one right away. Who ends up jamming. And bites in the back of the 12 foot, so. I think I like the split shield now. with an opportunity maybe for a three I think once I like again. The split now. Yes. Yes. Thinking about drawing I think we need to come T then. Yep. Just T. Yep. Now you have three stones left, Cam, so I think <laughs> this may be a situation Tuck. where I mean, if you're down five, three sounds great, but there could possibly be even a four if you get a little unconventional and try to draw a wide side around those two corner guards. A little light. It's a Mine's line okay. that you may not know all that Just well, but in any chance you have to find extra points, yep. getting behind those corners curl might not be a bad idea. Five. Make it a five. Or even half tucking underneath the, even the corners on that same side. Be here. All Good yeah. job by the sweepers to get that one all the way to almost even Good up. Sweep. Yeah, and the wider the better there. One is harder to make the double, and two, it's harder to make the roll underneath that one on the top eight there. Ryan will hit the open stone, playing the out turn inside out. Playing peel and trying to play a flat roll over to that area. So in turn peel. You see a little bit of curl, even though this is in the outside of the sheet. Kim rhymes first here in the eighth end. Definitely a little positive on the release there. We'll sit for second count. She'll content to play for the three. Do you ever ignore that and draw under the guards yep. here? Small rollouts, okay. You certainly could. You could if stick. you could get tight oh. to that red guard and Maybe tap a little and kind of Christmas tree it. That's the only way you're getting four. You could also try to play the long roll. Although it'd be pretty flat and your own stone kind of blocks the roll on this. Yeah, if you ever could throw peel and roll all the way over, bump your own back a little bit and spill in. That's your ideal shot. But again, Ryan probably still hits the back stone. So I, I don't think ignoring it helps a lot unless Prime <laughs> didn't hit that back stone. This should no. be interesting here. If they let that go a little bit, they could have got a deep roll and got yeah. behind it possibly. But that's yeah, reading those plan Bs and seeing, okay, once we know, okay, we're rolling that way, how can we get the most out of this shot? And that's something that's just going to come with playing more and more games. It left the pocket double here for Kim. Potentially the triple. Yeah, the double definitely there. The triple possible. Very important for Ryan just to make sure that both of these two go. And a lot of times, Cam, when you have a pocket like this, it's really easy to just think, well, I'm just going to throw it right at the middle of it. You still want to be very sure about exactly where you want to hit, which stone you want to hit first, 
and not just throw to a general area. That's when all of a sudden you may end up being right in between both spots you want to hit. This is very close. Gets two and bumps the third one off. So the triple was definitely yeah, there. Was really close. Does clear two, and that's just fine for, for Rhyme. Yep. Miranda going to draw here for her deuce. Special shout out to the Curling Stadium team here. John Benton, along with Joel Dietz, and uh, behind the scenes, uh, Jerry Gertz helping out remotely. So thank you guys for everything you guys do here and putting together a great broadcast. Oh, and Jed Brundage, I forget. Yeah, we, we pulled him in to kind of help out with some of the stuff I was working on today. And now that I'm Back commentating with you, Back line. Tyler, uh, appreciate all the help, guys. Well, that's a good Put thing you remembered. I don't know. Jed would have been very upset. This rock is gliding a little bit, too. I hope that this gets into the slide path and slows down. I think it's okay. Should be okay. Just in the back of the fours, back of the eights, no big deal. So two points for Team Shield. Cuts the deficit to 9-6. Move on to the ninth. Rhyme will lead 9-6 with Hammer. City's Orthopedics is ready to go with more doctors, specialty services, and convenient urgent care locations. Ready, set, TCO. Ninth end of action, third draw for the women's side. 2023 USA Curling National Championships feature game. Kim Ryan and Miranda line. Shield. Over and off. Ryan over leading 9-6 with Hammer. The cool. ninth. Yep, over and off. Over and off. Yep, we're there. Whoa, we're whoa. There. This will be a high guard. 18-6. We'll take a look at the other scores again. Team Peterson just put up another one to go up 10 6, playing the ninth end against Team Working on Sheet A. Delaney Strauss leading 7 5 in the ninth on Christine McMakin. McMakin has hammered down two. And Sheet D, Sarah Anderson. Leading Maddie Bear, 5-2 to two in the ninth. Bear with hammer. On the opening draw there, uh, they put a one guard just off the center. So they could play a tick, but there's probably no reason to. It's a high guard. So like um, three or you they like probably feel that no matter what, they could get around that and get anything okay. out that's buried behind it. Top four. Yeah, I would expect to see. Oh, they are going top four. I was just going to say I would expect to see another center underneath that one now and stack the two centers. But... They're going to go top four and try to play a freeze on that stone. Wrong rock. Grab the right one. Don't take the skipper's rocks. That's bad. Oh, bad you idea. get in big trouble. Oh, done that big, big trouble. <laughs> you get the bad evil eye. Juju, yeah. So Amelia hits his second here. I don't think it's just top four. Yes, it is. Yep. Becky! 
Mine's oh, okay. Where? So when I'm crawling with Jed and okay, one of us straight. do use one of his rocks, we never tell him because he never looks at it. <laughs> so he just <laughs> throws it. Because if you tell him, then he'll go. probably go. miss because it's in his head that it's not his rock. So. I have a feeling you could tell him even if he looked and saw and it was a different no, stone, you could yeah, convince him it was the one that you used the entire time. Yeah, you, you've been throwing that the whole time. Yeah, yeah. that's the same rock. Yeah. You could, Remember we you could have to throw a different end? one every oh, end. No, we needed to change it. We thought yours was something was messed up. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, that's right. So that curls behind the guard. Ryan electing to throw another one into the forefoot. So you may see some more rocks in play once again now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What does that mean, Tyler? Here? For all these inexperienced curlers out whoa, there watching. Whoa, whoa. Well, it's like saying whoa once, except you do it three times. Okay, just a small So you okay. really don't want them to sweep. Gotcha. Ten. Does that come from horse riding or something? I don't know where the whoa and curling came from, but I, may, I, maybe that's. I think it just is. just a word. I think <laughs> it's just a word. I think whoa in anything means stop yeah. Yeah. or don't do that. Tessa Thurston curl. playing the curl. Go double, curl. This definitely looks a little hard, hard out of Really hard, Neil. Hard, girl. Hard. Carve it to get a piece. It does, but just enough to push it the opposite side of the fours. Changes some things. The whoa, whoa, whoa. Sometimes when I let go of a rock, I'm telling the rock in my head, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, I think I threw that one a little heavy. So how's that work down. for you? Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't listen. All right. Yeah. And join the club. That's the rest of us too. Peel made. Clear things open once again by Kate Flannery. No guards in play. Good situation for team rhyme. First and second now, trying to freeze down into this pocket. Playing her out turn. Should get some good finish on this line. This looks pretty good now. Really curling. Had a nice shot by Thurston. Yeah, great really spot. Well Shield with really good position on both of these stones now. Rhyme will, at the very least, unlock these or hope to. Spills it off a little bit, but we're shot. Does unlock it. Do you Center guard? guard? Yeah. I don't mind a guard. Like here? Yeah. I don't like top twelve here. I like a two three though. Okay. I think higher is better. Yeah. So Shield sitting shot rock, electing to play the guard for now. Jordan yeah, her yellow. First. Yeah, her yellow Lots on the top room. eight there doesn't Lots really go anywhere. Room. Got It'll a curl. Hit and stay. That's fine. Got a curl. The only issue is close curl. One of the got a curl a lot. Mine's okay. Mine's good. Really hoping for this to sit. turn over and sit. and sit. Really got to sit. It's gonna here. come right in, close. but but goes yep. in that pocket. Actually, is not that bad a spot. Needs to click off a little. That's not bad that's, at all. That's, that's a really good spot. That's a great spot. That may have been option A, actually. So their number one will be, will probably go out, but redstone for Rhyme should also spill out to the wing a little bit. 
Still not a bad setup for Team Shield. This one gliding a little. Brundage asking for it to curl. Keep all the reds around. Angle's not too bad still for You like just the guard shield. for now? They are. If we play this, they have a double. Yeah. I think we have to throw a guard first. I think we have to throw a guard first, and then she's going to have to move some stuff around on her first. Could also just tap that red you like? back. You Give yourself more backing. Okay. Or freeze on the number four counter on the inside. Right in front of that red stone. So we can that's play the two guard, but I think foot. they might just peel it at this point. If we play this, they're going to have a shot. Yeah. I don't hate the guard, but then you're, you're playing like a little shuffle shot mm -hmm. on yours. Yeah. Or a tiny tap. Does a guard ever hurt Sheil yeah. here? Because, I, I mean, Rhyme like is probably and just fine last, with getting a, a single game. here yeah, just um, like a with a four-point lead yeah. going just into the tent. Like I, I don't think it would hurt because yeah. okay. there's still three rocks left for each team right now. And you want, you don't want Rhyme yeah. to be able to clear I open the center. To, I, I think I still would like something where you either tap that stone back or freeze on the red stone in the eight foot. Still plenty of time. See the clock up there. Eight minutes remaining for Team Shield. So they are playing the mid guard. Team Rhyme with five minutes remaining. A little tighter on time, but nothing drastic. Straight up anything. Line's a little tight. Tight. Gotta sit. Just let it sit on its own. The common theme with these draws is the sweepers Where? not getting a whole lot of influence. Whoa, on these whoa, shots. whoa. Where? Close. After a little heavy, you curl, can't curl, curl. help steer it in where you need it. That's fine. Keep. Sorry. 14-6. Boy, <laughs> these, uh, these deep guards are <laughs> ending up in some pretty good spots for Team Shield. <laughs> That's that's about as much as you can surround a stone. Yeah, sitting two, three, four there. There is indeed a red stone behind those yellows. But yeah, interesting situation now for for Rhyme. There isn't really a way to lose more than one of them hitting in this line. That may be pretty good. Now, kind of frozen in the pocket of those two yellows. So I think we might have to throw the guard on the first one. I think this always shoots. I don't think it ever hits the seven okay, here. So then you play this to here and then Could also hit the side so one in the eight foot and roll into the button. Or your last shot's going to be very tough. Yeah, depending on which way you're looking on the left screen, the one on the right, and on the right screen, the one on the left. Yeah, the one in the eight foot on the side. I think that's a <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I was thinking that I could either play that or I could play this. So that the six is going to stay here. I think this being locked like that's going to hurt us. You'll always have a double on the eight. Okay. You like it? It works. What kind of way are you thinking? Hack? Back line? If you're really feeling adventurous on this shot, this you can play okay, like around the world. Okay, the wheel, that rock in the side 12 foot, into the one in the eights, into the one in the four Seven. foot. As much of the yellow oh, as we can. Sit three, <laughs> but I don't know that I'd recommend it. It just looks yeah. really fun. <laughs> They're going to hit, they I think, as much the as they can see of this yellow stone to try to Get count. Okay. Skip stones, ninth end. 
Team Shield trying to move these stones around to set up a possible steal and stay in this game. Magnus with a lot of weight. It'll be tough to keep the shooter four, around four, playing this four, fight. Does lose that red. Unfortunately, the, the other yellow squirts out to the side. And now it'll be a open hit to sit three. I'm not sure that anything different was ever going to happen playing that shot with how they were lined up. And again, partially because they played the weight they did, too. They probably get a better result playing that soft. That back one goes out, but the, the yellow one that ended up going all the way to the outside 12 foot, both the shooter and the that second one in that stack went to the 12s, and those both end up at least in the 8s if you play less weight. Absolutely. And that red one was always going out the back regardless. I think we've seen a lot with, with Team Shields hits, too, that – the, those in betweens, you know, they you don't see the hack weight shot played very much. You don't see the board weight very much. There's the the draws and then control, and the in betweens is where you need that type of weight, for those type of shots. Now, Team Rhyme sitting three. Possible triple cam. I don't know. It's. I think that one on the top eight probably jams on the ones on the side. Possibly. This is fine. Even if we just cut them down. Okay. I'm thinking almost knows. Okay. Looks like they're going to play hit and roll off of that rock in the side of the eight foot. Are they freezing here now? Now they're changing up to a freeze. Okay, so this has got to be on the inside. Almost no, but is just on maybe four fifths to make to it shot. tough to clear. But, as close to nose as we can. but yeah, it has to be shot rock. The only problem is if you're off to the side too much, then it's a nose hit for three. Yeah, yeah you, it has to still be on almost all of it. So very difficult shot to try to place this stone somewhere where it can't be removed, but it's still shot, or at least can't be removed easily. Miranda Shields' final stone of this ninth end. Overweight. the line and the carry of the weight as well. The side really curls a lot more and speed comes off it as well. So not going to get there. And Ryan will throw a draw to the eight foot for what looks like a fourth point. Well, final stone of this ninth end, likely final stone of this game. Kim Ryan looking to add on one more point. Out turn draw needs to touch eight foot for the fourth point. Sweepers believe it's all there. If it makes contact with any of their stones, it's just fine. Settles in right between, and that will be four for Team Ryan. No shortage of points once again in this one. And that will be handshakes. So our final score in our feature game this afternoon, Kim Ryan, 13. Miranda Shield, six. I want to take a second, well, first to wish Team Shield good luck at the upcoming World Championships. Obviously, they still have a long week ahead here, but all of us will be behind Team USA when they head out to the Junior Worlds. So good luck to you young ladies.
Looking at the other scores before we sign off as well. Peterson wins 10-7 over Workin. Final score there. Strauss 7-5 over McMakin. Coming up to the end of the ninth end. And the final on sheet D, Sarah Anderson 6, Madison Bear 2. Thanks to Cam Rittenauer for joining me in the booth and for everything he's done throughout this week. He'll be signing off and heading back home, but supplied me with lots of Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar throughout, and that's the most important thing. But thanks for joining the booth, Cam. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me. And if uh, you think you're having withdrawals again uh, with me gone, I, I think it's just because you're missing out on the Dr. Pepper. I was going to say, are you talking about just having you sitting next to me or the, or the Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar? Uh, Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar. Okay, Absolutely. It's both, definitely. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. But for Tyler George and Cam Rittenauer, signing off. We'll see you again. Four o'clock draw, the feature today. Scott Dunham, John Schuster. Please tune in for Mountain Time. We'll see you later.